Mrs. Adams from Small Town Machine Shop. And today, we're gonna go over my auction wins from the other day. Got this box here, that thing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these big metal bins. And some random stuff. I'm gonna clear some room in the shop to bring them in. That way the sun doesn't blow out the video. I still haven't put away the stuff from the yard sale video. But I'll clear a spot for it and we'll go through and see what I got. All that stuff out there came to $217. So let's see how good I did. I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got everything in here. It's quite the pile. Now, I don't ask this of you guys often, but please watch to the end or skip to the end if it gets boring for you. And I'm gonna lay out everything that's good on the floor so we can do like a final look of the good stuff to see if we did get on our money. So yeah, I'll do a two of these at a time. This, this might be a little bit of a longer video and I apologize for that. There's a lot of stuff in these bins. Set up. Okay, and actually the bins themselves are nice. This first one here, not much great as it. Uh, there was an electric motor in there. It's just three alternators and a tire chain. So, not the best start so far. Let's go for the next bit. Oh. This one looks like a goodie. All these old pump sprayer things. Isn't this what you old people used to go to the beach and spray each other with DDT used to use? Kind of cool, though. There's a... Super old... What handled bicycle pump. There's no gauge or anything on it. And it doesn't work off because I'm sure the seal is long past dry on that guy. Then move forward here. The rest of this is all really old cool wrenches. Seems like good old American made stuff. Uh, some of these are gonna need quite a bit of cleaning. Some really interesting ones in here. Just a ton of Double-ended wrenches to go in the drawer. There's an old can can opener. <laughs> it is endless, endless American made. Oh, sorry. Double-sided wrenches to go in the double-sided wrench drawer of never use. Okay, so I'll go through those. I mean, those are all keepers, and there's probably. I don't know, 50 in there. Ugh. Let's see if I can get another one in here. Again, I apologize for the light. Next one in here. Okay, we've got some power tools. Craftsman drill. Has some oil coming out of it, so we're not going to plug that guy in right yet. A big this, uh, this is a black and no, it's a 
skill drill. Looks half inch with chuck key in it. Nice heavy detent on the switch. And I have my extension cord right here, so why not? Let's put it in. Get the chuck key out of it. There we go, it even works. And you can tell that that is a torquey drill. And the rest in here is, there's a spoon for some reason. Garbage and all. Um, I recognize these from something, but at the same time, I do not remember what that is. Some casters. It's a Judd C clamp. Oh, it's one of these angled screwdrivers. Not much. Cutters. Couple random Jacob's threaded chucks. And that's all for, for that one. Set it up here. Okay. Let's get over our next contestant. The main reason I bet okay, and I bought these. Sight unseen, just what I could see online. And the next bend is why I bet on them. I'm always looking for pulleys. So this was all there's this consists of two pallets, pull all these lots. So those are two nice big pulleys. The thing I like these is they got the, a small motor shaft for a big pulley. That's actually looking at the vertical bandsaw. That's probably about the pulley I need. An old part to a hoe. This is a Tremo or it's got it's broke. That's a shame. Got a square. And some wood saws. It's a little cute one. I actually did not have a wood cutting handsaw until like two weeks ago when my uncle brought me one. These obviously need to be de rusted and whatever else woodworkers do to saws. Means I have to have to do this one. has kind of a cool handle. Let me flip it over here so you can see it. Kind of intricate. And it says HS B and Co. Chicago. That's cool, saw. Then there's an empty metal bin. Okay. Set this guy out of the way. And knock some of stuff over. Ooh, this one's got some heft to it. Okay, again, nice big pulley. This is the, this box right here is the only one I could see what was really in it. The battery charger. See if that works later. This is what I was bidding on. And I got this pallet, I think, for 45 bucks. This is filled with all kinds of different pulleys. these on future these are the screw ones like this I use they're pinched in there 
There's a taper lock pulley, smaller pulleys, pulley with ball bearing in it. Pulleys, yeah, good selection of pulleys. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Now this one, I just glanced at, and there's some cool stuff in it. Let me zoom Try to keep some of that as possible. This is super cool. It's an old wrench, railroad wrench. Has a big adjustment nut. It goes opens up to that far. And it's a... Can't quite make it out. It's in great shape. That. That is cool. Got a box of... Sanding pads. Thing. I'm not sure what this is. It obviously ratchets, or did at one time. It's got these two teeth on it, like it's supposed to pinch something. If you know what that is, let me know. That's kind of cool. Most of the rest of this is all different pry bars. This one. Look at that. That's a nice square one. It was like a big, huge, long chisel. There's like a rock cutting bit. these are obviously like the end of this is mushroomed so that was a chisel someone was using it's about 24 feet long four chisels i don't know what this is it's threaded on the end it's a big hunk of metal is what it is a couple tire irons So yeah, it's a good steel and okay. Oh. Next box is heavy. There's a few things in it. This is one of the other locks I bid on separately. These are all look to be brand new adjustable reamers i got these for 25 bucks they're ward supreme made in america all the way up to a probably a one inch or three quarters if i had to say one two Three, four, five, six, there's eight of them in there. They're brand new. Super awesome. Very cool find. Those will go in the goodie, the goodie pile. There's this animal cracker box full of what looks like various small electrical stuff, like battery maintenance chargers and stuff like that. Probably not much good in there. And we got another box. These are miscellaneous hand tools. And I paid. Where's my. I paid. I think like 30 bucks for this box. So we'll go through it real quick here. Nice big 
ball peen. Lady foot. Lady slipper, whatever you want to call it. Always go and find these. These are amazing uh, pipe fitting tools. A file. Uh, I want to say this is a paint stir, but I'm not really sure on that. Some champion nippers. Looks like with replaceable cutters on them. Those are cool. And a big raft. Another big double sided file. A sliding gauge thing. Another pair of nippers. Another pair of nippers. Star drill. Don't know what that is. Smaller. Easier. Got some plum. Wounded wrenches. Bunch. Bunch more double ended wrenches. I got all the double ends. Well, these are plum. Oh, that's a, don't know, it's a Ford. That's about it in that box. Um, yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm going to stop the camera real quick, clear some of this stuff away. And we just got a toolbox, three more metal bins, and then one separate item. I'll bring you back. Okay, almost done here. Metal toolbox. It's in here, it looks like a one of these leather punches or riveters bench mounted. A, it was a handle to something. Parts to a big puller, and I think I saw the other parts to this in that last. Uh, that wooden box. Uh, whatever that is. Flaring tool. He knew what quality was. Super cool old Lawson box. So the rivets. <laughs> Chicago security. I don't know what this is. Security. Candy Co. Huh. If you know what that is, let me know. Some kind of old timey thing. Bit bolt, Allen wrench. Something homemade. Someone welded the inside of a bearing to something. I made two of those. Allen wrench. Cut. Red rod. These are kind of handy. I'll throw that in a half inch dry drawer. A dice. Holder. I've done the good stuff. This is a uh, saw set, I believe. Tiny little clamp. And that's it. Hey, we got the 
business end of a scythe or scythe or whatever you call it. And man, that thing's sharp. That thing is sharp and rusty. <laughs> we'll keep that away from the kids. We got an old axe, a couple old axe heads. I know people research these and there's certain, certain ones that are worth money or not. But it ain't really my thing. Old timey shovel handle. And one of these metal fireplace scoops. Claw hammer. Sp splitting wedge. Head something. Then just a couple broken sledgehammer heads. I might clean those up and see if they're have a trademark name on them or something like that. Okay. Almost done, guys. It's two more of these and then the big cool thing. See what we got in here. Got a piece of metal. Clamp with a broken swivel on it. Talk about your specialty wrench. <laughs> Big, uh, Axle nut socket, you can just put a bar through it. Another very interesting tool there. Sprayer. Couple grinding wheel dressers. Another sprayer. It's a Hudson. A soldering iron I don't think I'm going to plug in. Uh, I think these are some kind of wood clamp. A third grinding wheel dresser. Okay. That was not a spectacular one. Okay, this is the last of these. We got a couple tire, four-way tire irons. A Montgomery Ward paint sprayer. Then just some really heavy, but really heavy springs. Okay, so that's it for the random stuff. I'll bring the the big thing over here, and that'll be the end of this video. I'll bring you back. Okay, and the last thing is part to a iron worker. It's the rebar cutter attachment. And it moves, it's all free. It's hard to move with one hand, and the cutter's in good shape. So I'm going to modify this into the, so it's a part of the press. So I can do uh, angle cutoff. So that'd be cool. Had to pay $60 for that, but not bad. It's in good shape. So yeah. Okay. And the only other thing I got was a half horse electric motor. So that, that ain't nothing. Again, long video. I apologize. And yeah, I'll lay out the good stuff and we'll see how we did. I'll bring you back. Okay. So here's the really good stuff. I'm going to Put away, of course, that. So many double-ended wrenches. I don't know. I'll clean them up. And this is about a third of what I got today. So I, I need to go through that drawer. Because I don't know if these will actually fit in there. 
These are up to inch and a quarter, all brand new. Very nice find there. Riders, I got, those are just a few. I got 20 pulleys today. I got some cleanup, but it works. My favorite thing is probably that wrench right there. That weather punch thing. Whatever this is, I like this. Security Candy Co. Nice big ball peen. That's random stuff. And of course, all those metal bins will be super handy in my storage shed. So yeah, not bad for 200 bucks. Or 220. So yeah, we'll get back to work this week. No more yard sale videos the rest of this week. I, I promise. <laughs> this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.